Welcome back to Williams Motor Co. Today we are going to show you how to save some money in the shop. Stick around. Alright, so it's been a while since we did an update on the old 1950, we called it a 7, but it turns out it's a 1956 Triumph Desert Sled that we're getting ready to build for the Biltwell 100 race across the Mojave Desert. So super stoked about it, been plugging away, got some, got some super sweet Webco style handlebars up there, custom built an air box for this thing, found these cool old factory racing girling shocks for the back, got some high pipes, got a skid plate, got everything you need to make this thing a proper desert sled. But these nice shocks, yeah, they're kind of worn out. Uh, so that's going to be our little task today is to make some new bushings for these shocks. These old shocks, man, they have the uh, old rubber style bushings in them and man, they're just crusty and they're just wore out. So what I did was I said, all right, let me find out how much these things are gonna cost. Turns out they're not that cheap. Around 25 bucks a bushing. Are you kidding me? That's stinking expensive for a little piece of rubber. So I thought, well, we're gonna be actually beating this bike up a little bit. So let's go ahead and invest into making these a little bit better quality than just the standard rubber that was in there before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some polyurethane bushings into this old 56 Triumph shocks and hopefully get it going. I know that this bike is going to be beaten through the desert. It's gonna get abused. It's probably gonna get dropped. So I wanted to make sure that the suspension is up to par with that. Now, I didn't just uh, say, all right, well, let me order some polyurethane bushings to go in here because they don't make them for that. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some polyurethane bushings for the old desert sled. All right, so instead of just jumping online and ordering a piece of polyurethane rod and throwing it up on the lathe and making them work and fit, I said, you know what, let's save some time, let's save some money. So I went down to my local auto parts store and I picked up this polyurethane sway bar set because the diameter is larger than what it needs to be for these shocks and I could turn it down on the lathe and I could fit the spacers on the inside and make it work. So let's save some money. Let's make some polyurethane bushings. Let's get it going. All right, so before we just jump on the lathe and start turning this polyurethane, we actually need to pull one of these uh, bushings out of here. So. Let's go ahead and uh, rip this shock off this bike. Got it! Alright, as you can tell, that bushing is not up to snuff. The other one's pretty dry rotted out too, so what we're going to do to press these out there's a little hack that I've uh, invented here for the garage. Take you a nice piece of 3 8 all thread, get you a couple nuts, a couple washers, a nice little spacer, and then find you a deep well socket. That is the diameter that will allow that bushing to slide into. And you simply just tighten the bolt down. Voila, bushing comes right out. You got a nice clean opening. Let's knock it out. Now that we got those bushings removed from both ends of the shock, you simply want to take a measurement on the inside diameter of the shock. And it shows that we are approximately at 0.845. So we need to turn down these bushings to make sure that they have a nice slide fit inside of there. Not only that, but that nice little metal tube that the bolt runs through, we need to take that out of the old rubber, get that cleaned up. So that's what we're gonna knock out first. Let's clean up those little metal tubes. And just 
like that. Good to go. Alright, now that we got all those little bad boys cleaned up, uh, we're going to need to make sure that they fit inside of that polyurethane bushing. So, right now they don't fit. Uh, however, when they do fit, we want to make sure that it's a nice press fit. That way it's not loose and we don't want any loose stuff in our suspension. So, we're going to measure the outside diameter of the metal tube and then we're going to open up that hole so that these things will slide and press in there and hold for the desert sled. Let's do it. Alright, now that we got that hull board out, we have to press these in. Now that should be a nice tight fit. You shouldn't be able to just kind of slide them in with your fingers. So, don't have a press here in the shop, but I do have that lathe and I think we can make this work. Let's do it. Yeah! Well, that made for a quick easy job. So now that we got that nice tube pressed inside that polyurethane bushing, we need to chuck it up between two centers on the lathe and we're going to turn down the outside diameter so that it has that same nice press fit into the shock housing. Let's turn them down. Turn down nice and neat. Now we just need to get that pressed in. We're going to use the same similar technique that we did putting the tubes inside the polyurethane. This time we're just going to add a little bit of grease to the outside, just makes it a little bit easier to press that in. Now, when you're doing that, you want to make sure that you find a socket that is very similar in the diameter of your bushing. That way, as it's pressing in, the rubber wants to expand, that holds it together, slides in nice and neat. Let's do it! Boom! And just like that, you got nice new bushings. Do it three more times. You got a set of brand new bushings all in the rear end of your suspension. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Short, sweet, easy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're new around here, jump down, hit that subscribe button. If you really like the video, hit that thumbs up. Turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.